Okay, uh, week 10, day 2, is that right? Yeah, it's right. Okay. Uh, so, Arash, the first word, please. Uh, pertinent. Mm -hmm. It means? It means uh, relating directly uh, oh. to the subject uh, being mm -hmm. considered. Okay. R any other synonym for that? Relevant. Relevant. Very good. Uh, relevant. Uh, related. Okay. Uh, what is the opposite of that? Irrelevant. No, no. Impertinent. Impertinent. Okay. Okay. Yes. And also the noun is pertinence. Okay. Uh, next, Fatima. Mastiff. Mm -hmm. uh, a large and strong dog. Okay, a large dog. Okay. Which is somehow hideous and so aggressive and. Okay. And it's clear. Next. Obsess. It mm -hmm. means. That a person is worried about something or preoccupied about the problem or the subject. Uh, here, your explanation. What did you say? Uh, about obsess, uh, I said that when a person is completely worried about the problem or the subject or he is uh, preoccupied about the subject. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are uh, complexes. You know, complex means not. K-N-O-T. Um, means uh -huh. unnecessary, unnecessary pre preoccupation or occupations or haunts yes. okay uh, the adjective is uh, obsessed obsessed yes very good if, if a person is obsessed with something and obsession is the noun mm -hmm. very good uh, Arash uh, doleful mm -hmm. it means uh, very sad Yes, sad, dejected. Okay, next. One mm -hmm. means uh, looking pale and tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, so, words in context. Crisis. First of all, what is the plural form of crisis? Crisis. Crises. Okay, with ES at the end. Yes. Like basis, bases, thesis, theses. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Sasan? Yes, as soon as Jerry Hart could get the pertinent facts from his wife, he dashed out of his office on his way home. Mm hmm. Okay, as soon as Jerry Hart could get the pertinent facts from his wife, he dashed out of the office on his way home. Uh, as you see, in order to refer to home, uh, particularly in a location, you know, uh, and to show a distance from one place to home, we don't use to. I go home. We don't say I go to home. Yeah, yeah. Here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And uh, dash out means? Uh, for example, going out with Harry. Mm -hmm. yeah, well also, we had a word, Sally, in some sessions ago. Sally means Sally. to move from one place to another. Yeah. Heading toward, going, and moving to one place. Okay. So, it's clear. Uh, Arash? Okay, he just saw people in the hallway, implored the elevator operator to hurry, and with flag uh, flagrant uh, disregard for an elderly gentleman, jumped into the ca uh, cab. Into the cab, uh, he had hailed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. He jostled. Jostled means uh, push push someone. Uh, Yes, usually with your elbow, elbow uh, yeah, to make right. room for yourself, and 
Yeah, <laughs> and T is not pronounced. Jussel. Uh, people okay. in uh, in the hallway implore means uh, implore means ask uh, ask for something mm -hmm. ask uh, ask from someone uh, with emotional mm -hmm. very with strongly emotion. or emotionally yeah mm -hmm. okay the elevator operator a, a synonym for elevator uh, a lift exactly yes very good British and, one. yes and uh, what is another uh, piece of equipment that that is intended to ascend or descend people you know but it has some stairs electronic uh, stairs what do we call yeah. it you know Electrical stairs. Escalator. Escalator. Yes, escalator. Okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, to with flagrant disregard. Flagrant means. Uh, flagrant means uh, shocking. Uh... Mm -hmm. uh, because of something that is so obvious yeah yes very good obvious too obvious and shocking and appalling and even blatant blatant disregard or lack of respect lack of attention for the elderly gentleman old gentleman jumped into the cab cab means cab means uh, taxis uh, kind taxi, of taxi yes. yeah taxi he had hailed 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 means hailed means uh, when you uh, say thank uh, thanks someone I think it's hailed that is greeting yes this is one of the meanings of hailing but here it doesn't mean that it means calling it means as Sasan said and actually right. grabbing the attention of somebody or something or waving or airing your hand wave or air your hand in order to just call for a taxi dr taxi or call a taxi driver and you just uh, order actually something and for example when you are in a restaurant and you want to call the attention of the uh, a waiter you hail uh, him you see yeah, you are right. Yes. And here, uh, jumped into the cab. He had hailed. What is the antecedent of he? It means the pronoun of he. What does he refer to? Jerry Hart? Is that right? The operator, I suppose. The operator? For the middle of the I think uh, the elevator operator. Did you get my question? It says jumped into the cab he had hailed. And he had hailed in this phrase. What does he refer to? Or whom does he refer to? Universal taxi driver. No, I think it refers Elderly to the gentleman. gentleman. Yes. Yeah. It refers oh. to gentleman. The gentleman or elderly is an adjective. The elderly gentleman had already uh, just uh, called the called the ta ca taxi or cab, and without paying any attention to him, he used the taxi that was already just. Uh, Occupy then. You see? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you need to be uh, careful to the details and. Okay. But, um, I thought elder gentleman refers to Jerry Hart. No, no. 
No, mm, it's, it's another different. person. Yes, actually, mm. there are some uh, figures in that uh, scenario, and uh, in order to get home as soon as possible, he used a taxi that has already been taken by another person, a gentle and oh, yes. or the elderly. And remember, we have an or elderly gentleman. It is indefinite, not definite. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So, next. The twenty-minute taxi ride seemed interminable, and all the whole, all the, all the wild, horrible thoughts occurred to Jerry. Okay. The twenty-minute taxi right seemed interminable and all the while horrible thoughts occurred to Jerry uh, why do we have uh, minute not minutes is after 25 after 20 uh, it's, uh, it's a special uh, structure with a hyphen between them we should uh, use a single form of yeah. It's not related to the uh, existence of the hyphen. Uh, mm -hmm. The answer is that it's as an adjective. Mm -hmm. when, when numbers comes come as adjectives, uh, they mm -hmm. do not pluralize right. uh, the next name. Yes, in English, adjectives always appear in a singular form. Adjectives should always appear in a singular form. And... Uh, here, actually, 20 minutes is an adjective for ride, taxi ride. Okay, so, seemed interminable means? Endless. Endless and non-stop in a very frustrating and boring way. Yes, because something is endless and actually it is, uh, let's say, likable as well. But here it is not likable. All the while horrible thoughts occurred to Jerry. So Jerry was haunted by negative thoughts. Okay? Uh, Sasan? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Visions of an uh, ugly, massive, mastiff uh, with foaming jaws obsessed him. Okay, so visions of an ugly, mastiff with foaming jaws obsessed him. What does it indicate, a, mast a mastiff with foaming jaws? It shows what? Uh, it's typical of dogs, uh, maybe when they are sick or when they are angry there there are some foams and some bubbles in their uh, actually in their mouth or jaws is it typical of all dogs no <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. okay and uh, next okay a crowd of people had gathered in front of his house so that Jerry had to force his way through them Okay, in order to force the way through them, use another verb, please, that was used in the same passage. Sasan Fatima? Uh, what is the verb that you mentioned? The sentence? Yeah, uh, actually, a synonym for force his way through. And Jostle. Uh, jostle. Yes, jostle. Very good. Jostle. Mm -hmm. Is okay. that right, Araj? Yeah, it's right. Okay. So, a crowd of people, a multitude of people, uh, had gathered in front of his house so that Jerry had to jostle his way through. It's clear, Fadiman? Little Bobby was on his bed, surrounded by a doctor. A policeman, Jerry's doleful wife, his two daughters, and a half dozen one neighbors. Mm -hmm. But what but number it, does it represent? And uh, how many children did Jerry have? 
Three children. Okay. Uh, how many boys and how many sons and how many daughters? Two daughters and one boy. Mm -hmm. One son. Yes, one son. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Maybe there are some more children. Than... Little Bobby was on his bed surrounded by a doctor, a policeman, Jerry's doleful wife, his two daughters. Yeah, uh, we can come to this conclusion that he must have, as a conclusion, he yeah. must have just three children because actually the situation is so serious and uh, actually he couldn't have any other child that was somewhere else and actually they were uh, young children. You cannot say one of them was a university student in another country. <laughs> 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 okay anyway uh, so we can come to but we are not sure as you said okay so yes. sample sentences uh, question number uh, sentence number one please Sasan. the stockbroker uh, was obsessed uh, with the idea of becoming a painter mm -hmm. what is the relationship between us the stockbroker and the painter. <laughs> who is a stockbroker? A person who buys and sells shares. Yes, and uh, the person just volunteered to become a painter. It means that he must uh, <laughs> he must have gone bankrupt or something. <laughs> yeah, that is rather ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah, it's Undermining the personality of painters. Uh, maybe a stockbroker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, sentence two. Uh, Anish. Okay. Uh, my nervous neighbor bought the um, pugnacious massive to frighten burglars. Mm -hmm. Bought or bought? Uh, bout, I said bout, but I think uh, boat. Yeah, boat, right. American boat, British. Uh, I yeah, a pugnacious means uh, someone who wants to start a fight or mm -hmm. argument. Yes, very good. Aggressive, fierce, ready to attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The form of boat is bot, yes. American is bought. Yes. But British is bought. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, um, to frighten burglars. Okay. Uh, number three. Next. Doubtful expressions abounded throughout headquarters on the night of the election. Okay, doleful expressions ab abounded throughout headquarters on the night of the election. Uh, headquarters here refers to? It refers to a building or mm -hmm. office. Very good, yeah. Uh, the physical location of a place and they were actually sad it was clear that they had lost the election okay yes uh, number four uh, during the trial the asset lawyer was able to elicit the pertinent information from the key witness okay any correction trial uh, trial yeah and uh, during the trial uh, the astute means uh, skilled skilled and clever smart astute or astute astute I think I think it is astute yes like astute, astute. 
Astute. Yes, it is astute. Uh, uh, but the American is similar to astute, maybe. Uh, maybe. Let me see. No, it's sure. Both of them actually is sure. Okay. It's not a. Ah, it's a. Uh. You see, I, I just check it right now. The dictionary is in front of me. In both cases, it is a. Uh. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And the uh, lawyer was able to elicit means? I uh, get information from someone, uh -huh. especially when it's, when it's difficult. Yes, very good. Yeah. To obtain information, gain information uh, very cleverly from the key. Okay. All right, so five. Okay, after the tension, his normally ruddy, uh, fa ruddy face was one and tired. Mm -hmm. Tension here refers to? Um, I think it refers to uh, uh, argument. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Argument or disagreement or friction. Yeah. Yes, friction is a good word. Yes, is conflict. Okay. Yeah. Ruddy means. Ruddy means uh, it refers to a uh, face of a person mm -hmm. that is healthy and uh, is red. Can we uh, say? Pink, let's say, or healthy. Mm, pink. Yes. Okay. Radiant face. Yeah. So we say complexion means the face of a person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so definitions uh, pertinent to the point mastiff, large dog, obsessed, haunt, preoccupied, doleful, sad, melancholy, worn, uh, sickly, pale, and the idiom part on the carpet, Fatima. Yes, and the carpet uh, being scalded because of her repeated lateness, Betty's boss called her on the carpet. Mm -hmm. So he criticized uh, her. Yes, I was trying to say whether he or she. He, uh, the boss, the boss or teacher boss, uh, criticized her or uh, scolded her or. Uh, 